Chris K there, and I'm Anne Fuzzin Cushing Cosplay, and tonight we are watching with you guys for Dark and Godhood, episode 40, The Dwarf and the Flask. The Dwarf and the Flask. Okay, last episode, our boys are in the north, yep, they are. and they are with Kimberly. Mm -hmm. Kimberly had Winry hostage, but they managed to, you know, you know, fix a plan with Scar and uh, members of the military from Briggs in order to make her escape. The thing though is they are in uh, a mine's tunnels, like they are in tunnels, going back to the fourth, but Armstrong is not at the fourth any longer. No. It's Central who's there. Yeah. And they are the enemy now. And the so only one who can go there without risking his life because of the storm is Alphonse. But he's losing connection to his armor. <laughs> He saw his own body for a second and he didn't freak out, but we sure did for him. So yeah, you've got Ed with Kimberly, stuck with Kimberly. You've got uh, Alphonse lost in his storm and losing connection to his armor. You've got Winry with Scar and Marco and, and everyone else <laughs> on their way towards the enemy and they don't know it. No. So it's not looking good. It's been a while since I've seen Mustang. But we know he's planning something back in Central, so I'm excited to see about well, Central, yeah. He is still in Central, so I'm excited to see if we get to see him this episode, and I really, really want to find out if something is going to happen to our <laughs> boys. I'm scared. I want to find out. All, all right. right. All right. Let's, let's just watch it. Yes, let's watch it. I can't wait for Kim Lee to just be destroyed. I hope yeah, he's right? be destroyed by we, our boys. We didn't get to see him in a fight yet. An actual fight. <laughs> She doesn't like him. It's true. Central Kimbu to Anna. Donna Coneta. Yeah, Jitsu Kushanai Deska. True. Kitaiwa Shibaraku Motoren Kamashirena. Motorenai. Dewa, Zehi, do Shokishi. Uh huh. Kisamaga Hassan Suruma de Tabete in a right terzo. Shokishua Kiramemasu. Okay, fuck that. Kimoto Saif no Chisai Otokodana. <laughs> he's got flowers to give too. <laughs> I think he's, uh, he's joking a bit, but uh, he's uh, gonna add her to her plan to his plans. Okay, he's gonna add her to her plans. <laughs> But I mean, that's probably the best thing she can do now. She's still playing the double agent. Unless she truly has, like, a, a desire for this, but, uh... She's <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> uh. I mean, they don't lack attitude and strength. <laughs> Homunculus, the dwarf in the flask. Okay. She better come most car to something. They know each other so well. This is cool. Oh my god. yes. Oh, this is good. Celine Bradley is among. Oh. They know each other so well! Oh! Woohoo! Oh. No such thing as impossible in this world. <laughs> oh my god, that was brilliant! 
Just marry her already. <laughs> So, you were, we were kind of right! Holy it's shit, it looks like Ed! First opening. Holy shit, it looks like Ed! なぜこんなのから私が生まれたのかさっぱりわからない。君だろ私に血をくれたのは君が血をくれたから私はこの世に生まれ出たありがとうえっとやっぱり二十三号では即権がない私が名前をつけてあげようそれじゃバンバンホ
Holy shit! Oh my freaking gosh! Oh fudge! This is how it happened! And that's what's gonna happen if they don't hurry up! And they merge? Keep going, like I want I wanna see more, keep going. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> he did. He didn't cause this, he was manipulated into this. Understand. Wasn't that the names he said when he You know? What do you mean? When we saw him you know, he remember when he took his shirt off and he took blood from his body and it went away? Was that the name? Oh, that's what it is! Oh my freaking gosh! Oh my 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 gosh! Never wanted this shit. Oh my god. It's me. Oh my god, she's on her way to Central. Why? Is it the one who taught her alchemy? No. He went he passed by her house one day. Sorry, I don't remember it's been so long. Can he heal her? Like she's missing some parts of her body. He wanted him to go away. Yeah. He did the same as he did with himself. Holy shit. So now we know why Ed and Al are that strong. Wait, I think there is an after credit scene. They told us! Oh, you have? Oh, you have? Oh. Oh. oh my god! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Their dad is a philosopher's stone! Weirdly enough, when I said that earlier, like, he's a philosopher's stone, I mostly meant, like, he's immortal because he received the souls and stuff. I didn't mean it as he's an actual philosopher's stone, but then he, he goes and say, says it. Oh my freaking gosh! <laughs> but now you know what I am! I was for sure certain that he was a copy of father or he was created by him. It's the no, contrary! It's the contrary! 
Okay. <laughs> so basically, father is the first Amontios, a man-made person. So an entity that was created by the people in Xerxes in order to attain, obtain uh, immortality. And they created it by using Owenheim's blood. Weirdly enough, though, I wonder why they chose his blood? Like, he's, he was a slave. Like, he, he had no rights, no nothing. That may, did they know maybe what would happen? Maybe it was as a... If the, the person who gave his blood for the ritual died, he was a slave. So that's yeah, not maybe. important. Okay, so if that's that, okay, it makes sense then. So... They used his blood and, and he never knew better. Like he, he didn't know why, he didn't know what was happening. He had no clue. Oh my god, he, he used to be a slave, really? Yeah, but then after that he became kind of a... He learned alchemy and stuff and so even though he was technically a slave, he was seen as uh, okay. Like he knew enough to be respected in some kind of way. I mean, maybe, what, maybe he gained some kind of freedom after he became an alchemist. Yeah, kind of. Like him, his knowledge like made him... Master. His knowledge made him having an easier life. And it's so interesting to see how his views of the world were different back then. And then like he wanted he wanted to chill. He it wanted to wasn't a, uh, millions years ago. That's no, that's old. it. Like he wanted a family, he wanted children, he saw value in life, and then he was given immortality because so many people died. So he had to somehow push his emotions away. Like he had to disconnect completely because being happy that he was alive meant he was happy that all these people died. So he had to somehow not focus on the fact that he was immortal because of them. Like, he had to completely disconnect. And then he met Trisha. And he found value in life once again. And he wanted to be happy about, you know, his life. He wanted to live and die and stuff. But, I mean, him living and dying would basically mean, like, throwing away the sacrifice that everyone else did. So he's conflicted. Jesus. Christ, and that's why, like, but Winry is blonde too. Is she blonde? Not, a, not a same kind of blonde. okay. So, their <laughs> Rizza is blonde too, by it's the way. True, sorry, okay. So, their blonde is not the same, but the, why, why are Ed and Al physically different is because they add they have actual ancestors in Xerxes. <laughs> oh my goodness, and I, I can't believe that Xerxes used to be such a huge kingdom. Well, I mean, oh, there, the riches used to be there. It, they did say that it was a huge city, that it used to be the city. So it's not surprising. It's night. I love the style. Like it really looked like ancient times and stuff, and it was beautiful. It was ancient. Times. Yeah, yeah, that's it. It looked like it, and it was nice. But oh my god, <laughs> like I still don't forgive one thing about Hohenheim, which is how he basically treated his sons because he didn't. He, he lacked the courage slash strength to show them his weaknesses. Like, he didn't want to appear weak in front of them. He didn't want to cry in front of them. So he kind of hid his persona behind a mask. And because of that, he ruined his relationship with them, which I think is so sad when you think that he wanted them in the first place. Like, it's something that he sees as a gift, something he never thought he might deserve. So... He, he loves his sons. It's just that he doesn't allow himself to show it to them. And I mean, he's been a pawn in this game. He was forced to be like this. And that's horrible. Now we know that basically, I, I don't think they actually have a connection beyond the fact that he was created ba based off of his blood. So, I mean, if something happens to one, it doesn't happen to the other. Like, they're not connected in that way. But uh, to know that father exists because Owenheim exists. It's fucked up! <laughs> what I can wrap my mind around is that he's a freaking Philosopher's Stone. Which means that it's actually... huge! He's a freaking human being Philosopher's Stone! Yeah. And but all I... those that we've seen so far are like this size. This freaking size. And even smaller. Yeah. How power... And they are freaking powerful. How strong he is. He is very strong. He basically just kind of healed Izumi by punching <laughs> her in the chest. <laughs> the thing is, though, like, that's why he's immortal. So basically for him to not be immortal anymore would be to literally use all the souls he's got in his body. Which kind of makes me think, like, is it what, he, is it what he's trying to do? You know, when he punched his chest and took, like, some 
some blood and you saw the blood evaporate and stuff and he did you know say sorry blah 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 name 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 so no. was he like wasting souls and stuff like was he trying to get rid of them i don't remember the, the scene that you were referring to but now and i remember yeah so maybe that's what he was doing because we know he was looking for a way to somehow gain his mortality back because he wanted to grow old with his family and die with them so I don't know, is it what he's been doing this entire time? Is he trying to, like, does he know that Father is trying to do the same thing in Amistris that he did in Xerxes, and is he trying to stop him? Because we do know that he was, you know, when he was doing his research, he was saying, like, you, you bastard. Like, he was saying stuff about someone, which we thought, you know, it was Father, and it's, it probably was. So, uh, I think he's try he might be trying to find a way to stop him, but... It's unclear. Like I want to see more of him, and I want to see more of him <laughs> with his kids. Like I oh. want him to give them ans their answers, because uh, they're not dumb. Like they, w of course, it's not going to be easy to brush to the side years of anger towards him. But uh, at least if it, if if they can solve this problem with his help, it might help a little bit. You know. <laughs> I'm, I'm this. wondering though who, because we know that father. Uh, no, Sorry, Van. Um, Wenham is the one who came from Tessus and who go to um. To well, the uh, either he was he tagged along and uh, but father was the the one. I don't know, but they are but, definitely the one. But who is the person who went to the the east and did arc uh orchestra? No idea, no idea. Maybe they split up and one one of them went one way and the other went the other way. Cause I don't know, like I, I don't know where Owenheim was. The years, uh, the few years that that came maybe, after maybe Xerxes. Maybe both of them. Like uh, father went to the west to Amistris, Amistris, and created Amistris. And uh, Wilhelm went to the east, but and I mean, learned maybe a way to. Now what I change? What, what we still need to know stages. though, maybe what we still need to know though is what is he after that father guy? Because I mean, he is basically like all powerful. Like I mean, he is immortal already, so. What is he looking for? Like, uh, I can't understand, basically, what, what he did in Xerxes was to gain a body, you know, to free himself from the flask and, yeah. and be, you know, in his own body. But then, what is he trying to accomplish here? He keeps mentioning having an army of undying people, like of uh, immortal beings, so yeah. is he trying to make a bunch of people like him? I don't know. Like, I need to know more. Now, now we know a bunch about Van. Hohenheim, then. <laughs> but uh, we need to know a little bit more about Father now. What the hell is wrong with that being? And what does he want truly? And for what purpose? That's the only question I really have now that I'm like, oh shit. But now we know about Hohenheim, <laughs> so this is great. We're gonna move on, okay? <laughs> Alright. Oh. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode with us. If you want to see the next one right away, it is already up on Patreon. The link is in the description. So go click and subscribe. And if you don't, the next one should be up on YouTube next Saturday. Saturday. So you need to wait for a week, guys. Yes. See you then. Bye.